Hi, my name's Chris, and I'm at the EMT Proving Grounds here in Windsor, California. Today, we're going to be trying to bust a myth, and that myth is, can you pull enough hair off of someone's chest with an AED pad to remove enough hair to be able to properly shock them with an AED? So in just a few minutes, we're going to be going into our lab, and we've got a volunteer student who's going to bare their chest for us and allow us to place an AED pad on their hairy chest and pull it off quickly to see if we can actually remove enough hair to place the pad firmly against the chest. And as you know, in order to use an AED properly, these pads have to be able to fit smoothly across the chest with no moisture and no hair in between to uh, enable it to provide a really good shock. So why don't you come with me, let's go into the lab and see if this works or not. Go ahead and tell us what's going on. Oh, here we go, this is going to be our patient tonight. As you can tell, he's got a lot going on, so we're going to have fun with him. <laughs> oh, 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 that's some hair. <laughs> so where are we going to go? Where, where would you like it removed? So it's going to be right where it was supposed to go, which is over that right. <laughs> oh, God, this is going to hurt. So we have two pads. So we, if one doesn't work, we... against the hair pattern, so... Oh, no. Straight down. Okay, now we're going to place it a little bit more right there, right there. Now really put it down good. Oh, baby. Now just to make sure, we're going to see that there's how much hair is there. And now we're going to... Pull from top to bottom or bottom to top? Top to bottom. Top to bottom. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I changed my mind. Can I do it fast? You ready? Get a good grip. I want you to go straight down. Don't tear the pad. Make sure you got a good grip on the pad. Because we wouldn't want to have to do it again. We don't want to have to Okay. All right. Come on. Fast, baby. Don't rip it. Okay, let's see the pad. Okay. Do it a few more times. Okay, there is definitely some hair. Definitely some hair. But if we go, I say, I say that there's still a lot of hair there, and there's too much hair to keep the pad sticking. I don't know. To tell you the truth, it's hard to tell. All bad. You're good to you all the way around here. And, uh, are you getting paid for this? Uh, probably not, actually. You're a scholar and a psycho. We'll accept the show. throw money at Sorry, buddy. Which way, go? No, the other way. <laughs> Which way do you want him to go? Upward. Upward. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's going to hurt you worse, Dan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 got more hair, though. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> what movie was this? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Put your shirt on your breast. Oh, my God. Now, Nick, we have Scotch 3M duct tape, and it seems to be sticky. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Lift like your arm up. Hair, so. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's a little late for that. <laughs> Yeah, you can't even tell. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. See, at least on my arm, I left a, a circle. Go. So after these three demos, we have concluded that the AED pads and the two types of duct tape do not work in removing the hair off the hairy man's chest. 